Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we are going to create a script. So far, we tried to create uh, some of the PowerShell commands and we tried to play with the PowerShell help and other features. But let's try to uh, get one of the command like get hyphen service, which we have already tested this command and we are able to uh, pull out the information uh, whatever the services are running uh, for example get hyphen service which is listing a lot of all the services out of that we wanted to filter uh, with only beats and uh, vinorm and wlms uh, services to be you no know, displayed so that the script is completely working fine so, but um, this is just the a command line if you wanted to convert into reusable scripts all the time what you are going to do is you simply uh, copy this and you would be you know saving this into a uh, powershell command uh, powershell script so to do that you can either open notepad and simply save this command let uh, and save in your uh, script like uh, save as and uh, for example in my case I'm actually uh, putting all the files in my C colon scripts folder with the extension called uh, for example this is the uh, to get the services uh, dot ps1 is the extension that should be uh, written so I have to make sure that you know you are saving as this uh, save all type of files and uh, save as a ps1 as the extension and click on save that would actually saves me uh, this script and if i want to let me clear the screen and if you want to run that uh, script i simply go to that specific path for example uh, by changing the directory to uh, services uh, script that ps1 and if i hit enter it's going to actually run the powershell script but if you look at here you're actually getting an error says that hey there is no execution policy uh, which is setting as unauthorized uh, that means you are not allowed to run any kind of uh, scripts let's open up the script and uh, show you know uh, how it looks like if you try to open from the isv like um, Oh, let's uh, you know if you try to open it's not gonna run that's the advantage of the PowerShell uh, if if it's the case with the VBS what would happen is uh, the script will get executed but in this case when you try to open it doesn't actually open unless you actually run that uh, in the PowerShell environment for example this and I'm just opening uh, with the editor of the PowerShell default uh, PowerShell ISE in this case um, it's actually uh, you would be able to view uh, properly uh, this entire script and you can uh, able to even pull the uh, information here as uh, if you try to execute this as a PowerShell uh, command uh, or because you are actually pulling out uh, from the PS1 script so it also you are also getting here as the unauthorized as the error message so how to get that if you can you know read this error uh, furthermore if you want to you know get more about uh, information you can you know always go to good execution policies in this case uh, I can uh, get hyphen help uh, type uh, anything called execution uh, maybe uh, so that should actually gives me the uh, information that's what we learned so far so i would be you know getting has um, get and set a specific execution policies information so here uh, i would be you know just getting here get hyphen execution policy which will uh, tells me uh, what is the policy currently configured and if i just get more help about it uh, like you know list uh, it's gonna list me all the execution policies that are configured as a date uh, on this specific uh, environment so in this machine the policies are defined everything as undefined that means the policies are restricting and uh, what we can do is we can uh, set a policy to uh, allow this uh, specific scripts to run either local or from the current user or the processor uh, or uh, user specific policies uh, uh, only or the mission policy and if you read about more about the execution policies from the Microsoft documentation you can type this command to get uh, exact information from the online uh, which is the uh, a, a which will actually uh, pulling out the information from the internet uh, for the online so you would be you know getting here uh, for the examples how to set it how to get the exceptions also you will be getting here uh, the not just the examples uh, you also getting here the more in 
information about the execution policies if you can you know read out here uh, these are the policies which can be said uh, and which are available within the PowerShell for the execution policies uh, the reason for these execution policies it says that uh, description if you can you know look at here it says that hey we are we wanted to you know uh, control malicious code or malicious scripts that might run on your machine uh, because nowadays uh, not just the uh, uh, malicious codes are uh, not just the uh, some kind of you know, applications now even the scripts powershell scripts also uh, executing because if somebody is writing a, a script to theft or the required uh, uh, required uh, information for example uh, in the best example would be the cached passwords if a person are uh, trying to simply execute a cached passwords and if he's trying to theft it it would be difficult to prevent uh, until unless you have some kind of you know execution policy as well as the antivirus uh, which is you know monitoring um, with an artificial intelligent way uh, either way you know uh, to just to you know set it like all sign that means only scripts can run and for the bypass you can you know simply nothing is gonna block it and no warranties you no know, warnings uh, simply you know it bypass and when you, you know set it to the default it's gonna set for the user specific as the uh, sorry for the machine specific for uh, Windows client machines as a restricted and the servers it's gonna remotely signed uh, scripts can be executed and remote signed definitely the scripts can run uh, from the different Windows servers and restricted is going to restrict all kind of you know things until unless uh, the default exception of the Windows clients and undefined means uh, there's no execution policy set uh, to the current scope uh, which is the current uh, state in fact and the unrestricted uh, again here uh, this is uh, it's going to you know fully run without any changes uh, without any warnings so there's no policy would be applied uh, so it would uh, run everything so I'm gonna uh, here you know take it as a bypass nothing is gonna block there's no warnings uh, for uh, this is going to be you know simply uh, a test environment so I'm just gonna use a uh, copy or this uh, bypass and if you can you know look at the examples uh, how to set it uh, for the specific uh, to the bypass you can you know get it here as the set example we need to you know uh, view definitely set execution policy with the scope and other uh, command to be you know, used here so I'm gonna set it here as an execution policy uh, set hyphen execution policy so in this case uh, since it's a lab I'm gonna set it as the unrestricted uh, so that uh, nothing gonna block for me uh, for example if I want to if I want to download anything from the internet or if I'm trying to execute any kind of script within the lab it's not gonna you know, block so I'm just uh, executing this and it is asking me hey your intent is correct or not yes my intent is correct to set this policy and it's all set now if I uh, want to get actually execution policy with hyphen list uh, it actually lists like like uh, unrestricted with the local machine now there's no restrictions so now I should be able to run the script uh, which are here see you are able to recall the script if you can you know remember the script has execution to you know list out the bits and winrm and winlm so we are we are able to pull out that information so we are able to pull and we are able to run that a specific script from a different path also the takeout of this uh, lecture would be uh, the execution policies it's not uh, it's not open it's not allowed uh, by default to execute on anything on the computers so you need to you know look at the execution policies if you're stuck with any kind of errors and uh, set it uh, based on your requirement and these execution policies also can be set from group policies or by running some of the scripts or manually can be changed so that you can actually remotely execute on uh, different computers uh, otherwise you do it as well otherwise your scripts doesn't work on remote computers if you're trying to do the remote administration so this is the takeout point thank you for watching this